Now, I'm Kela, a 48 hours. No, 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 Safety rigging is one of the most important aspects of crane operations. We have all heard about crane-related accidents that cause severe injuries or even death. Small miscalculations or a brief moment of inattention may lead to tragedy. Once a load falls, there is little time for people to move safely out of the way. As a result, co-workers could be injured or expensive equipment and materials could be damaged or destroyed. On today's show, we bring you the career of an underground mining rigger. Van Botala, but if I mean to relay a man and banali mining, come below of Riga, Van Botala, Avas Tivikur, Ulaini, I don't know what Jones from Wayana, but if I figure Queen Iwana. A good tobacco and at the mining riggers, did the rain. I got a checker for gold, diamond. The mining rigger helps to carry those heavy stuffs because people can carry those things. Emon Wanja Nanga Fanela Kain Tirolo. Tansi Ochono Sevidi San Albatu. Intent to be able to interact Albatu, good personality and friendly. You have to love working with your hands. Yeah. I have lovely man. Banga Baba Wala Malmuni. I think I could say 200,000 or so. 20,000. I think it's about 30,000 because the job uh, is quite dangerous. I have lovely to join this school. I think it's more than a lot of people who join the land. I think mostly geography because of geography is a good landscape. Maths is also involved. Maths, science, and geography. We could go to the minings or um, you could go to the companies that are dealing with the mining. Go university, yes. Uh, I think the need college university. Mining, <laughs> the mining. At the minings. We know must take a mining rigger. In Gara, I a mining rigger. Because Vela. Uh, I love to be a mining rigger because I'm a hard worker and I love working with my hands. And I love, I love knowing more about the, the, the minerals that they get from the ores. <laughs> Tani lo konburi le. Wata la ba ina astiwa ke mai ni kuna mitro yota ala kambi wana monta au tiweke. I told them to carry a board. You don't say ni. Mining riggers work out the weight of objects to be moved or lifted. They secure objects safely before moving or lifting. They are also responsible for inspecting and maintaining lifting equipment such as tackle, cranes, winders, jacks, hoists, etc. Most FET colleges offer programs for skill set such as rigging. For possible admission, you will need a National Senior Certificate with Mathematics, Geography and Physical Sciences. We advise that you contact tertiary institutions directly. As a rigger, you must have the following qualities. Be a good communicator. Have good vision. Be persistent, hardworking, dedicated, responsible and dependable. And last but not least, be physically fit and strong. Employers in this field are mining companies, electricity companies, and steel companies. In the work of the mining riggers, we have to go to the school in Shatirelong Secondary. We have to go to the school in Shatirelong Secondary. We have to go to the school in Shatirelong Secondary. 
ke dula ko tlo fate ga o file magale na ke motho ga tambatho ke motho ga tang skolo ke motho ga tang go ithu the weak points e go ga i'm not good no matter mara ke a le ka go reke be re ke thata mo dream career ya ka ke go nna e mining riga elna la ka ke nna no le di madure ke ke nna go ikemele eng go khona ke tsena skolo go direla mo secondary school Hello. <laughs> Hello, I'm Kepa. I'm going to go to the mining. I'm going to play the different carriers. I'm going to play the same thing. I'm going to play the same thing. I'm going to play the same thing. Is it? Okay, all right. I'll see you. Okay, I'm going to play the teacher. I'm going to play the number of people. I'm going to play the number of people. Yeah, and good will have been like a different work for my name, mm -hmm. so I'm very interested. Is it? Yeah. Okay. I get a light for more forty-eight hours. Receive the charge. Yes. Okay. You guys are spending forty-eight hours with the mining rigger. Yes. Wow. That's cool. Hey. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm gonna give you t-shirts to show. Kupaludi apara, the kupaneli na koko loin. Okay. Se ifikile lava Jones vaina vanga tasangana na mentor ya siku. Aibu nini kurusi fambanjani? My name is Harald Lawrence. I'm working as a mining rigger at the Quarries Platinum Mine at Crazy Shaft. Knowledge and Karabu is going to join me and go with me in my work environment. Thank you. So how are you? Fun and self? I'm good. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I welcome it with uh, Quarters Platinum Mai at Crazy Shop. I've heard you guys want to be uh, uh, mining riggers, huh? OK, let's go inside and talk there. OK, let's go. Bye. The first thing I want to ask you is, uh, yeah, why are you interested in a, in a mining career as a rigger? OK, I'm going to Mining say on a truck or moving with a crane, maybe on top of structures, Stru structures that need to be fixed, or a new, new, new projects as well, yeah. What is the career of your career? Growing up in an environment where it was usually to pick up old engines, so that's where it started, the interest in rigging. And uh, I have the opportunity to start at Anglo-American, my career as a rigger. Day to the guy on the mining rig. The mines usually offer some apprenticeships where uh, they uh, give some apprentices on, on rigging, fitting, you can say basically on, on the whole engineering. So there's a, there's a broad spectrum of uh, where you can get uh, doing your apprenticeship and become, become a rigger. And you know, and you can go further. Also you can, um, as far as, as an engineer, you can go, and even more, a manager engineer, yeah. So it depends, yeah. Okay, you can also apply by Aquarius Platinum Mine because they offer, offer that uh, um, opportunities to, the, to, to young children to, to, to look for their future, yeah, in, in, in trades, in the engineering department, yeah. What are the two other things that you think is a mine rigger? You have uh, to, have, to have grade 12 and pass your maths and science uh, with all the relevant uh, subjects. Uh, with um, normally it's a technical background on the technical high school, 
the tool draw is also a good subject to to uh, have in, in in the background. Yeah, so that will help you to to be recognized by the by the mining industry. Yeah. When I mean near time survey, it's a regard to South Africa. Yes, yes, definitely. Rigging is a very critical aspect, especially in, in the lifting and, and loading, because production and the safety of persons and also a lot of uh, damage to equipment can appear if it's not done so safely, and that's where the rigger came in, yeah. There's always new projects who is on, on, the, on the moving from companies outside the world, and even in, 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 in the world itself, in America, Australia, where our, our places, there's always projects, big projects, and here in South Africa, especially on the mines, there's a lot, 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 lot. King says, Chandur, the folk has a more so, and if you don't have a good mining rig. Rigging is a very observant uh, work. So if you stay observant and you stay focused and you do it safely, then definitely work will become a good rigger. Rootly, I will look at the Mercoa main rigger. Mercoa is a good shot. Yes, there's quite a lot of uh, other things I want to show to you, but I will think I will keep it as a surprise for you at tomorrow. But I think we've done enough today uh, because we have a lot of preparation and work we need who needs to be done. So I've got uh, surprises for you guys. So yeah, I think you will enjoy it. Thank you, sir. Esa kura bumbiri, ba John zwa ina ba ya masen ba John zwa hinti roa sikura na munda. Shitunzo so ilish na wena onga skota pa na ina laka forty eight hours. Zaina loko itzalela eka Facebook page ya ina. Welcome you guys at the Guaris Platinum Mine. Um, first things is first, uh, we're gonna introduce you to the safety because safety is one of our most important stuff we have to do. And uh, welcome at Crazy Shop. So we'll, we'll go, give you over to Sam Mugotti, he will help us with the safety. Okay. Morning, Mr. Sam. How are you? I'm good. I've got special two visitors for this morning here yeah. at the shop, yeah. Knowledge. Knowledge. Come on, you're a monarchy. Hey, can you do visa, Mr. Shafti? That's it. Hello. Carabo, aha, carabo, get to my long feet. One more time, more crazy. Why do PPG in? Hey, get protective clothing. That move. Personal protective clothing. That move my knee. For only safety. Some sort of a real person protect them. Safety is number one on the man. Like, yeah. Aha. Kiri kaus. Kiri gloves. Kiri wizili. Kiri toko lalo resebe zanga lako induction. Kse ke hat hati ina mutlo kone. Knowledge. This is for you, big man. Kiri zanga helmet. You just have to know the apparel. Kiri toko lalo di bera kaya. Rapere refele zeka PPE. Resistle mo induction. Mo mining. We urnali different structures. Because if you are out of the Riga, then you go underground and we go to the That's management. Management is a good shaft to run smooth. You can use IT. You can use manager of the shaft, Tony Joubert. You can use the shaft. You can use the shaft to Dion Boda. You can use shaft engineer. Good morning and, and, and welcome to, to Crazy Shaft, to the two learners. Um, I'm sure you're going to enjoy the time you're at the shaft and the exposure that you're going to get to the rigging section. As was explained by Sam, there are a number of different disciplines on the shaft, rigging being one of the, the interesting and exciting ones, so I'm sure you will enjoy the time that you spend here with us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Knowledge. Karao. Come on, my name. So when you are underground, Matua Abula, Ushaba, everywhere where you go, Mufati, Haro, Haruna Vitales, who uneven, Akrika Matapa. How to make sure we? How to level up our society? How to level up our body? How to avoid the corrosive scar? Like my tapa, how to how to see? No one. How to manage the tapa? So let's see. Oh, I am. Ah, ah. The tapa is not easy. But ah, pinch bar. Come, my name is Bitang. Ngala. Ah. Ebelu, move on. How to see? No one. Ah. Aba ukela manga. No one see. Are you sleeping? Where one over road? Yeah, how to see? Where one? By the Bitang, come to my name. Raisu. Chacha wana ka lo wa i tsona ba ka riga ke yo tla Chacha wana ka ha re tsala ka mabone uri ira ya chacha ya bona ka 
Hamu chini uta wira, uba wizi di mumu lumu. Orpa, hawai. Mo tente lebo anaget, hamu ni anafala ori, aba kubon. Michini e, ina lema bo ane kumara kuku. Lele greeni, lele red. Lele greeni, lele red. A apila apanya pa, apanya pa. Wena utunzo nega fole lebi an, lele green. Dan ho utwela mela u eu, ukaske ba kubala mumai. Nata mabe anu, rova na rika. Who wanna see us as a tipping? Who go with it? We are challenge number one now at this stage. Basically, I want to explain what I've done here as a rigger. What is my daily inspection? What is the company said from me? I do a visual inspection on the rope selves. It's a 22 millimeter length layer rope. It's usually to carry people on the ground to challenge. We have six strands in this rope. You get your outer wires and you get your inner wires. Now normally you get wear on your outer wires. Okay, here you will see that the rope is going, it's a, it's a right hand lay rope, it's not a left hand lay. You see the, how the direction is going, huh? you see. Certain places I must stop the chair lift and then I examine the rope visually. When I visually examine for, for strands and broken wires and all that, uh, uh, what is going on on this rope. It's quite a lot of places that need to be inspected. Okay, I have a counterweight underneath as well, we tighten this rope. We have a rope, which also snatch it, which hang on a weight with a winch. You see there's two bolts on, the one is for, for tightening the, the rope grip onto the rope, the other one is a, lock, is a lock nut, so that the other nut don't come loose, okay, it's very important. My biggest challenge is to get a people safe on the ground and out of on the ground. Why do you check out the rope every day? I'm going to check out the rope every day. I'm going to check out the rope every day, I'm going to check out Lidi prosedias. Morona rata suara HP di COP Code of Practices. So we must adhere to that Code of Practices. That's why we have to check it according to that standards on a daily basis. Ya no kini aku kibat lagu bonsa batana cilifti ne. But you need here for the for the for the chelif is your gloves before you climb into onto the chelif. Yes. Okay. Okay. Then also mustn't forget about your eye protection. Okay. Put it on as well. Climb on the chair like this. Put your feet here on the end, uh, on the feet raised, and you will sit here like this. Okay. As part of the climbing procedure, also we need to put on our lamp caps and our rescue packs as well. So we mustn't forget forget about that as well. Coming up the, with the 300 kg motor because we can't handle it with that. That is where the, the rigging came in the mine industry. Because if we, if it comes to heavy, heavy equipment, heavy move, loads who needs to be moved, we have to have a rigger to put it up here. Okay. Okay. So what we basically going to do now? We're going to uh, lower it down. Okay. So it's going to um, ask you just to lower it down. We'll get a, one chain is most for the lifting and our one is for lowering. Ne? It's a bit better, ne? Huh? Okay, it's fine like that, it's fine like that. Okay, it's fine like that, it's charming. Okay, now from now, I will lower it safely down, okay. That's the last thing I want to explain to you guys is, uh, you see when it was nearly on the platform, I was, uh, it was going slower, slower, slower. Because so sometimes, uh, we put it, it's unstable and the motor will tilt and that's going to cause some injuries as well. So it's a, um, a good thing to remember. I think you've learned. I think you've learned a lot. Eh? Rigging must be in your blood. Mm. All right? Mm. Yes, that's all I can say. Yeah. Chris, thank you very much for that assistance. Yeah, thank you, Chris, yeah. for your help as well. All yeah. right, appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Hey, guys. 
Now I want to hear how day one year Luna lead day two to my leisure. Eric Teleka wena. I'll see. Kuna kolo mo na di. Rule to the ladder they didn't see. Gamushini safety about mo mani. Okay. Very good to wena. How was it for you? Eh, let's just like a job. Kuna kolo mo na di. And the to the ladder they didn't buy. Gam seven they go rather hang as a trigger. Okay. Really, I got a motor. Eh, ki me long kore. Eh, wake they long kore. Motaga city. Is it? Yeah. Okay. But those also they didn't mention any safe tech up, which is important, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Good luck, guys. Little come like a. Kile ba hona kaya luna, and I'm happy for we managed to help you. I get. Okay. Muta leri. I got family singa unza. Miti selenti roa rika loa tira kaka construction. Kasi na muta kuba wa mining. Le subula kali saku. Unge tami unga renanti ro. Ai tuni kungwa ma binzu us insa kuyeni ibinzu rayena. Ika malamu kentu mfabaza, a company Kulupala Investment Holdings, which is in the mining space. Our core is coal, iron ore and vanadium, manganese, and tiger eye, lead, tin. So those are the minerals currently uh, we have in our stable. In 2006, uh, to be self-employed. Why? Because I've always had an interest of uh, running my own business, being on my own. Before I started my own company, I worked for a banking institution. I worked for a mobile institution. I worked for logistics institution. So when I was working for logistics, that's when I developed uh, my passion for mining. What I love about being the, my own boss is um, one, I get to make my own decisions. It gives me freedom of creativity, but also it comes with a lot of discipline and hard work. So I like the more, more, moreover, I like the freedom. You know, the main challenge is currently is the raising of capital. How we then overcome those is through partnerships and joint ventures, and also um, being in the mining sector, as you would have seen in the news, the strikes and. Um, labor issues, you know, so those are the key challenges in the sector. Currently, we are sitting with about 25 to 50 people, but you know, as the projects expand, the staff complement gets huge. I mean, uh, we have a we future looking at a staff complement well over 500. Our main clients would be, for coal, would be companies like ESCOM, international buyers from China, Asia, Europe. Uh, in terms of iron ore and vanadium, it would be your steel companies and your international buyers as well. Well, we reach our clients by marketing, by networking, uh, also by attending conferences like your mining in Daba, mining the Hutla, you know, all these uh, mining conferences uh, that get set up through the year. The advice I'll give to aspiring entrepreneurs, especially in the mining space, is one, believe in yourself. Don't let someone tell you it cannot be done. You are the only one who will realize it cannot be done. So you need to go out there, fulfill your dream, and uh, you must remember, this is hard work. It doesn't happen overnight, so you must have the patience and perseverance, and your goal shall be realized. Karibu isiile. Ndanza kuteka nkaru loo kubani kensa unwana unwana segete la kanongo noko loo waina wa 48 hours. Ipa mandla ita live ye lela. Aitangane na kambe viki letaka kona kwa laka SABC2. Shitunzo sho ilesh. Ita lele neka 48 hours at sabc.co.za. Kumbe Facebook page ya ina kunga SABC 48 hours. Kuma kamina tinsa lomshwana na batiru kuloni pana na viki lernene.